Hello everyone, welcome to Great Online Training. This is Naidu. I'm a SaaS trainer and programmer. In this video, I will explain SaaS Certified Specialist Base Programming using SaaS 9.4 Question and Answers Explanation. I'm going to cover a series of videos around 200 questions for the certification preparation. So this is the first question I'm going to deal with. If you are new to my channel, Please subscribe and click on bell icon for the latest videos. Let's get started. This is a disclaimer for before going to this uh, series of videos, persons who are watching this video, definitely they need to know SAS base programming knowledge then only they can able to understand what I'm doing in a further steps. I strongly recommend please get an idea what is SAS base knowledge and how to get it and all. I'm just adding uh, the video here onto my uh, channel. You can see right now it is displaying it or else you can see in the description for more details how to get an idea. I have recorded around a 12 hour session on how to get a knowledge on your basis programming stuff. So you can get it and get more details from there. What is SAS certified specialist based programming using SAS 9.4? This exam is conducting by uh, SAS and Pearson view. It's an online exam you need to write. Uh, for that you need to book the slot uh, prior to the exam around one week or two weeks before or something like that or maybe one month before also you can book the slots and once you book the slot you need to go there and write the exam through online and for this uh, it's in a 40 to 45 multiple choice and short answer questions you will have it so around 50% I can say 50% of your questions is multiple choice questions and another 50% of questions is going to be uh, your uh, short answer questions and 135 minutes to complete the exam so after 135 minutes automatically uh, the window will be get closed so before that so you need to finish the exam Passing score for this particular certification exam is 725. The score ranges from 200 to 1000 points. So you must have to get 725 above or 725 also you will be get passed in the exam. The exam code will be there are a different certification exams in SAS mainly for this particular uh, exam with this is very famous one. So if you want to apply this particular exam through online. So this is the exam ID A00231. You need to use it while registering with the Pearson view. So you have to enter this particular code when they are asking for which certification you want to clear or which certification you want to go for. Then you need to give this particular ID. This exam is based on your SAS 9.4 version. So you need to know the uh, what is SAS 9.4 and all. So then only you can uh, go for this exam and for this exam fee around 180 us dollars they are charging it in india and most of the countries it is the same so 180 us dollars so you need to pay from the pocket you convert that 180 us dollars into today's uh, amount uh, uh, into is it a uh, 76 rupees or 73 rupees or whatever it is you convert it and that price you need to pay it through online and this is my uh, few students who completed the certification. I just kept it only two examples uh, for you. How the certification, once you complete the certification, uh, uh, how the certificate is looks like once you've done the exam once you pass it and you can see a, a scoring card like this and you can see your name and you can see a registration number also and when you have completed your certification and what is the score you got it you can see here uh, the passing score is 725 points and my student he got it around 949 uh, points he got it and it comes under pass and there are uh, the certification exam also is uh, uh, the questions also based on four main categories you can see that uh, access and create a data structures manipulate the data uh, resolve errors and generate reports and outputs and all 
So my uh, particular student here, you can see that he got all the 100% in uh, two sectors. So you can see that the first uh, the first one as well as third one, he got 100% and remaining uh, around two sectors, um, he just done some mistakes at somewhere. So because of that, he got less marks, but almost 95% he got scored in this and you can see another exam who is of my another student who completed on August 25th of 2020 and this is the exam exam pattern and uh, it's the same so mostly you can see that uh, the certification uh, stuff is same but he got around uh, 980 uh, 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 points so that is a uh, uh, this is my one of the highest score of my uh, students i can say that so he got it uh, around 980 so this is how the exam uh, once you're done with the uh, exam on the same day uh, within a uh, hour of uh, one hour of time uh, around 135 minutes later so immediately the certification uh, completion stuff will be appear like a, a pdf document to you if you open it and the you can see this and then you can take it as a printout and the later on the original certificate they'll mail you so in that mail uh, e-signature is there what is the advantage with the certification is you can keep it this particular badge they'll send a badge to you on your email and that badge you can use it for your resume at the top you can keep it that you are a certified specialist or something like that you can uh, put it that badge on your resume so that it is a bit added weight to your resume Okay, so that's what happens. And now let me talk about the question one. So what is this uh, question one? Uh, so I, as I said earlier, it's in a uh, one to 200 questions I'm going to cover. This is my uh, first question. And I, I really uh, uh, pleasing you all if you are a, a new person to my channel. So just click on subscribe button and you will get a, a notifications also when I'm uploading the um, latest videos and all I, I strongly recommend everyone to just uh, uh, go through it and please see my description below this video and so that no, you will get more details like uh, um, what content I'm using it here or maybe is there any useful links I'm providing it or is there any practice document I'm providing it so please go through that uh, details which is there in the description this is very important for you so uh, uh, let's uh, uh, start on this question one. The question is, uh, uh, in this question, uh, the SAS guys are asking you to use it, uh, sashelp.sus as a data set, as a source for your input data set. And you will use this data set uh, for uh, create a, a new data set. You will use the sashelp.sus as a, a input data set and you will try to create a new data set as a work.sorted sus. So as a new data set, you need to create it. How you will create it? First, you will need to sort the data based on the sashelp.shows data set. How you need to sort it again, they have clearly mentioned. It is based on the variable of product. In a descending order wise, they are asking you to sort it. And second variable, they need to sort it based on the sales variable. In an ascending order, you need to sort it. So you have to write a program to just all this sorting stuff. So you need to take a program Sorry, you need to take a input data set as a sashelp.sus from there and you need to write a program to create a, a new data set as a sorted.sus and in that by variables, the first by variable is going to be product and second way by variable going to be sales and you are giving a first by variable should be in a descending order and all. So the questions, this is the uh, uh, sample question they have given and the first one is they are asking what is the value for uh, product uh, variable observation number 148 okay and another question on top of it uh, what is the value of region variable on observation number 130 so now we will solve this particular questions now by using this data set as a source for that let me just go to my desktop and there you can see that uh, SAS studio how to get this particular SAS studio and all those stuff I will uh, I explain to you uh, in uh, another video so which in, you can find out here on the top so I'm just displaying it here and you can see it in my disk uh, uh, description of this video also you can get it how to get this particular uh, SAS software so this is free 
and you just need to register with your email address and all that's a, a very easy one and you no need to install anything and uh, it's an online uh, uh, a registration is just required that's it so anyone can get this uh, license and how to get this uh, software and all i am posting it in uh, my uh, video please go through it so let me log into this once you log into it And you can see that SaaS Studio is here. Once you click on SaaS Studio, so this is the software they are going to give you for your uh, certification uh, clearance stuff. So I'm just uh, uh, getting this SaaS certification. SaaS is just loading. All right. So now this is the interface of your SaaS Studio. You will get the same software like this once you go for your certification uh, exam. And you can see that uh, you have a code window, you have a log window, you have a result window, and you have some libraries and all those stuff. You can already, uh, if as you already know the programming knowledge, so you already know that uh, what is your uh, left side panel is all talking about. So you need to write the program here. According to my PowerPoint presentation, so what we, we need it is, we need to take the data from sashelp.shows. First of all, see that uh, is the data is available or not. Go to your library's location. In my libraries, go to your sashelp library, uh, go for uh, shoes data set. So here you just go there and check your sashelp library. Is it a shoes data set is there or not? So. You can see that the source data set is here. So in this particular uh, data set, if you double click on it, the data will open according to you. So you have a region, you have a product and you have some uh, subsidiaries and as well as so we have some stores and sales and all the information is available and you can see the remaining observations also it is one to hundred numbers only it is displaying it the remaining observations you can see it here also you can get all the details what i will do is i'll just close this data set for a while i'm writing a program according to the question so they're asking you to use this data set as a source for that first what you do is you go to sas and try writing it proc means it's a procedure sort means you are sorting the data data equal to your data set name in your sas help library see the advantage with this software is when you are typing a first letter automatically pops up the remaining values so then i need to go for shoes data set so here you go for a data set called so, so, so to, time, uh, uh, to do the time saving, you click on directly, yes, and automatically you will go there. And once that new data set is created, you need to create a new data set. Uh, uh, so here, uh, and then you need to give it uh, uh, the new data set name, sorted shoes as a new data set, we need to create it. So now go there and give it a uh, sort, sorted shoes is a, new data set so we need to create it okay so then semicolon by which variable wise they are asking you to do it so variable first variable in a descending order so based on the descending order variable wise what they are asking you is um so here product is the variable we need to use it so i'm just writing it the first variable going to be a, a product i'm writing it here that variable i'm just using it second variable in ascending variable wise, so you can see here on the second variable according to your um, values, second variable is going to be sales. So I wanted to do it based on the sales variable wise. I'm just writing it sales and semicolon and run. That's it, I'm done. So what I have done, I'm sorting the data based on the SAS help. I'm just taking a data as a SAS help dot source and I'm creating a new data set as a sorted source and descending frequency of product and sales. I'm just selecting this particular program and running it. So once you run it, what happens, you know, so you will get a, a new data set here. So that is your sorted source. So within this, and according to my uh, question wise, what is the value for product variable in observation number 148? So product variable, we can just go to SAS, um, observation number 148 on the next page. 148 at somewhere you can see here product variable wise and what will be the value for product slipper 
so you will need to answer that question as a fill in the blanks as a slipper you need to write it you need to type it uh, the spelling whatever you are getting it you can copy paste and you can type it uh, and the answer for this particular question is slipper the next one is what is the value for region variable in observation number 130 so that the region you can get it uh, so here the region wise um, uh, here go to the region observation number 130 so here you can see that region is pacific so here pacific is the right answer for the second question and here is the slipper is the right answer for the first question so check that so which i have created as a powerpoint presentation earlier and now the answer for this one is a slipper and again so observation number 130 for region it is going to be pacific you got it so that's it so they'll give a, a task to you and they'll ask a questions one or two questions on based on that a task and you need to answer it for that so you need to write a program and based on that program you will get some answers and that answers you need to enter it in your uh, uh, short answers questions okay you need to enter that and you click on next then automatically you will go for that and i'm just adding a uh, uh, the practice certification exam also into this particular video below in my description so that no you can get a lot of questions like this i just done it only for one question for uh, remaining also i'm going to upload it uh, soon so so that you can able to get it uh, remaining videos also uh, into the next in this playlist so that's it that's all about uh, this video so thank you so much for watching this video if you really like this video please hit a like button and click on subscription so so that no you will be subscribed so that click on that bell icon so that uh, you will get uh, any updates from me and mostly i'll talk about all the related stuff uh, mainly for saas and all so be subscribe and thank you for watching